everybody and welcome to my channel. Last week I filmed for you what rocked and what sucked and now I have what has finished currently. So I'm actually filming that the same day and I will have the link down below but I have a lot of empty so I will start talking about them quickly because that would be a very long video. So I have here the I have I will start with some pro body products and miscellaneous and maybe some hair stuff. I have here the uh, deodorant from Le Petit Marseille. So this is the Carité one and it's the one that comes in a spray form. I like this. I really like the scent of this. I don't think it's so potent. It doesn't have aluminium in. It says that it's uh, 24 hours sufficient. It's certainly not. This was sent to me to review. It's a nice one but only if you don't ever really sweat. And it's also a really huge bottle, not so easy to travel with, which is something that I don't like so much from my deodorant. I have two toothpaste. Uh, this is my all time, my new all time favorite toothpaste. This is by Marvis, and it's the uh, whitening mint and the classic straw mint. So this is the one I tried first, the whitening one, and I like it the most. And then by mistake I got this one, which is the strong mint, but I like this too. I have a lot of stock from this one, but then again, most probably I will go back to this one. These are really, really nice. I'm buying them uh, here at um, Globus, but you can find it in different stores. I think that's an Italian brand, to be honest and they are really great and they have a whitening effect to be honest. I have this that I use to uh, clean my brushes. This is by Garnier. It's um, a washing cleansing gel and it has a nice consistency for cleansing my brushes. I, and I repurchase this from time to time because I think it works quite well. I have here a sour gel and it's by Bath and Body Works. This is the stress relief one and it's uh, from the aromatherapy line and it's the eucalyptus basil body wash and foam bath and it has a blend of essential oils. It's really relaxing, it's really uh, rejuvenating and um, it helps a lot. I think also when you're sick the eucalyptus. Uh, I really really enjoy this one and it lasted a long time and you can use it as a foam bath also. I use it mostly as a body wash. Uh, another body product, this is from a company called... Um, where is the company? That's very weird. They don't even have the company name on it. It says Gold Elements Golden Salt Scrub but the company's name, that's very weird. It even says that the company is Gold Elements, but I bought this from the Premier stand in uh, Globus, which is like a company with stuff from the Dead Sea. Anyway, this is a body scrub. This was a body scrub. I used everything. Uh, it is a salt-based body scrub. Uh, it, it was really nice. It was not very easy to use because it was quite dry and not liquidy enough. So it was very loose. But I liked it and it was very, very potent. So I love salt scrubs and uh, I enjoyed it a lot. It was quite expensive. I didn't like the policy of the brand so much and they were quite aggressive for selling. So I don't think that I will buy something else from the company, but I used it up and it was a present from my mom and it was a quite of a good one. I have a body cream. This was my last stock uh, from last year and I used it up. I have used up so many of these. I hope they will bring that again this year. And it's the whipped body cream from the Bronze Goddess collection from Estee Lauder. And I love the scent so much. It smells so nice, so summery, so beautifully. And the whipped body cream, the consistency, it's so easy to absorb and it makes the skin so soft. I absolutely love this. I have two hand creams. 
This is, uh, I was using this very sparingly because that was so expensive. It was sent to me for PR and it was something like 100 bucks or something. So this is from a Swiss company that is called La Colline and it's the Cellular Vital Hand Cream with SPF 15. This is the best hand cream I have ever used. Whenever my hands really needed some st something strong to moisturize them and bring them back to like their real life and softness and everything, this worked perfectly. It's easy to absorb, although it was thick and hydrating, it, it was perfect. I'm not repurchasing this. I think that there are so many very good hand creams, even if they are not as perfect as this one, for like one tenth of the price. So I'm not getting this again, but I really enjoyed using it and this is really, really good. And this is by Kiehl's and it's the Ultimate Strength Hand Salve. So this is another uh, hand uh, product that I uh, got in my Kills calendar, I think. I don't remember if it was this year or, or last year. But I liked it. It doesn't smell like something, actually. It's very moisturizing, very hydrating. It worked quite well. And uh, it is a decent hand cream. I'm currently using some from Rituals that they are amazing. But this is something that I think it's a really good one and much more reasonably priced out there. I have a small perfume from Rituals that was also in my calendar this year and it's called Voyage and Inde, so travel to India. It is quite oriental and heavy but it smelled very very nice and I liked it on my skin and I got some really nice compliments for wearing this. So this is something that I really, really liked. And I have here um, one of the Sally Hansel Instant Re. So this is like a top coat. It makes your manicure dry quite quickly. It's a nice one. I liked it. I might repurchase it in the future instead of my Sesvit. And I have two um, hair dyes from Larisse Direction. This is the plum one from when I had my hair uh, purple and this is the alpine green one that I'm using right now. This is my favorite brand of uncommon color hair dyes and I really really like them and I have a stock of these. I actually also have some of these and I have some blue ones. You never know what I will decide to do with my hair. And I have a hair, a small shampoo actually. This is um, from L'Oreal Professionnel and it's the Mythic Oil Shampoo, which is not one of my favorites. I got the small size somewhere, I don't remember where, and uh, I decided to use it up. My mom loves this shampoo, it works really nice with her hair that uh, it's a bit finer, but with my hair it's okay. It doesn't lather that well and I don't love it, but it it's not a very bad one but certainly there are so many better ones out there that I prefer to use. Continuing with skincare let's go through some masks because I have a lot here. So this is by Tony Molly and it's the Unreal Rice mask for clear skin. Really like this series of masks and this was a really good one. This is by Benton and it's a Snail Bee High Content Mask Pack. This is one of the best masks I have ever used. I really love this and I really want to use more products from this line. This is the Pandas Dream iPads from Tony Molly. I didn't like them. They didn't work that well for me. It was difficult to apply so I don't think I will repurchase them. I think I have one or two more. And this is the Row Jobs Tears Brightening Blood Mask. I think this is something that my friend Aspa sent to me and they are black masks. They work really nicely. I enjoy them very, very much. And I have three from, no, these are from the same line. Two from Innisfree from the Skin Clinic Mask Collection. And I have the Vitamin C and the Collagen one. These are just amazing and they are easy to apply and I love them. And they fit perfectly on my face. Very, very good masks. And this is from Misa and it's the Hair Be Nude Seat Mask Brightening Care. Another mask that I think that it's really, really great. I'm very happy that I 
I'm finding out more masks. So all this Korean stuff, they are either from Niasa or from eBeauty and Care, and I have the links down below. Continuing with skincare, I have this from Skin Food, and these are the Trouble Clear Spot Pads. So this comes with 24 patches in different sizes from really, really small to larger ones. And it says that it's a hydrocolloidal bandage that protects and keeps wounds hydrated. Actually, these are very, very good if you have spots, acne spots and things like that. And I don't know if these have any tea tree in because in the past I have used from several companies and they had tea tree in but they really help uh, all the acne spots to heal and it reduce inflammation and uh, they work quite well. I have another one of these that I'm currently using so I think that I will repurchase them in the future. I have quite a few more skincare things, a lot of travel sizes from my advent calendars that I want to show you. So I will start with cleanser. This I don't remember from where I got it. I think I got it together with some purchases that I had made and this is by Ren and it's the Rosa Centifolia Hot Cloth Cleanser. So this is like a cream cleanser. It works quite well. I enjoyed it a lot. It's a really nice second step or morning cleanser. And I have purchased another one by Ren Rosa Centifolia that I think it's also a bit scrubby. And um, I liked it. Maybe in the future I will purchase the full size of this, but I want to try also the other one to see how it works. I have another cleanser, a travel size by Kiehl's. This is the Ultra Fersil Cleanser, gentle liquid formula that cleanses without over drying or stripping skin. For all skin types, this is a really nice cleanser. It was a nice travel size, it has a gel consistency, so it foams a bit but not really. So this is one of the best um, uh, gel type cleansers that I have tried. And it says that it's formulated with sugar derived glycoside and uh, this is a foaming agent that cleanses the skin but it doesn't over dry and it also has a lot of oils vitamin e and um, it tries to ha keep the ph of the skin balanced so that was a good one not an amazing cleanser i don't know if i will go and purchase the full size but it was a nice one if you're searching for something like this I think these were the cleansers. I have another mask. I forgot to sew it with a mask. This, I have two masks. This is a travel size mask from Michael Todd. This is the Rose Petal Vitamin C Gel Facial Mask. This was okay. I didn't like it too much. It's not something amazing. Uh, it's uh, supposedly it's moisturizing and anti-aging but I was not so fascinated with it so I'm not getting the full size of this and this is an all-time favorite you can see it's completely empty and it's the parsley seed cleansing mask by Aesop I need to repurchase this I'm trying to not do that yet because I have a lot of masks I have a lot of open masks and I have a lot of sealed masks and I need to work my masks and my skincare products before I buy uh, new ones or repurchase stuff. I don't know how long I can do without it. This is one of the best cleansing masks that I have ever tried. I have, uh, uh, I have a blog post about this so I will put the link of anything relevant down below but this is really something that I recommend you to try. Then I have an acid toner. This is the Pixie Glow Toning Exfoliating Toner. I don't think I have a lot of things to say about it. This is a holy grail product. I love this. This works perfectly for my skin. I have a full size of this. It's really, really good. It has 5% glycolic acid and it also has aloe vera and ginseng. This is a great, great acid toner and it's also a really good starter for acid toning, in my opinion. Uh, I have then two eye creams. I have actually three. So 
I have uh, this one. I have shown this in my latest skincare uh, video, so I will put the links down below. This is by L'Oreal Paris, and it is um, it has completely scrub off, but it's the Revita Lift HA hyaluronic acid line and it's uh, the eye cream this is one of my favorite products from this line it's really really good it's budget friendly and it makes the skin and the area around the eyes look plumper so this was really a good drugstore eye cream that I can recommend and worked for me and this is maybe one of my all-time favorites eye creams I I'm very difficult with eye creams. I have never found something that it works perfect for me. This is by a French company. It's called Ioma. I got it from Marinot here in Switzerland and it's the Energize Flash Youth Eye Contour Concentrate. It comes with a pump. It's really nice uh, for fine lines, for black circles, for puffiness. It works for everything and it has a really nice consistency. I want to repurchase that in the future, but as I said, I have some more eye creams that I want to use up and try first, but this is really one of the best eye creams I have tried ever. And then I have two travel size, and one of them is for the eyes. Is They are both from Kiehl's, and they are both from the same line. This is the Kiehl's Powerful Strength Line Reducing Eye Brightening Concentrate. This was a really nice surprise. It has such a nice thick balmy consistency and it's really nice to use uh, especially in the evenings. It worked really really beautifully. It's moisturizing a lot the um, area around the eyes and I didn't expect that I would like this so much. So this is certainly something that I want to keep in mind for the future to get it as a full size because it really worked very, very well and you need a very small quantity because it's quite thick and balmy. And this is the Precision Lifting and Pore Tightening Concentrate. So this is like a serum for the face. Uh, it is more liquidy. I don't love a lot of these kill serums. I have tried different uh, travel sizes and most of them didn't surprise me so much but this is among the better ones. I didn't like it as much as the eye concentrate but it was pleasant to use and um, I think that I have used it in the past. Now that I used it more consistently I liked it more so it is a nice pore tightening uh, product. I don't know if it does anything for like lifting the face as it says because I mean it's a travel size I need to use it longer but I liked it more than the first time that I tried it. I have a cream and this is a neck tight cream by a Korean company called Vela. This was in an old meme box. I used it up it's just a moisturizing cream uh, I don't think that I saw like a tightening effect it's always very important that you will apply your um, cream also in the neck area your day cream and especially your night cream but I don't think that I will buy something like that again I mean it was just in one of my boxes so I used it up and I didn't see something special with it and the last skincare product that I have is this one by Mario Badescu and it's a drying lotion. I like this a lot. It helps a lot with uh, zits and acne spots. I think that I love the patches more. This is uh, this can be very drying. This is more potent. It has in um, calamine and camphor and sulfur and salicylic acid and zinc. So it really works to kill this acne spot but it can be really really drying sometimes and especially if you have like a persisting spot and you have to use it a few days in a row, a few nights in a row then you can see that the area around the acne spot can be quite drying while the spot patches work a bit nicer and they are not so drying so I think I prefer them but from all the drying loss few makeup products and I will start with something that it's not empty but I hate it and I want to throw it away and I think it's really really not working and it's quite old also. So this is just half of it. It's by 
Lancome and it's the 10 Visionaire. So this was this um, foundation that Lacombe came out and it also had a concealer on the cap. The concealer I'm actually using and um, I like it quite a lot. This looks so dark, I don't even know how I got this. Uh, because this is the lightest shade that I could find. It's the 010 somewhere in Europe. I think in Asia there are lighter shades. And the technology behind this was supposedly amazing because it had the visionary technology that it's one of my favorite serums. I hate this foundation. It doesn't apply nicely. It's not smooth. It doesn't stay well. It's quite oily. And I just don't like it at all. And I try to use it in different ways and now it's also quite old and I don't want to give it to anyone so this was a fail this is certainly a purchase that I regretted and I will just throw it away so that I will not see it anymore I have one concealer this is by Catrice and it's the Velvet Finish Concealer with Hyaluron and this is a nice concealer I got it in the 020 Velvet Rose shade because when I purchased that uh, one, there was no lighter shade uh, available, it was out of stock. I have repurchased it again and I also found the 010 that I want to try for my under eye. This is quite dark for my under eye but it worked quite well for uh, covering imperfections um, on my face and it has hyaluronic acid in and it's a really really nice concealer uh, for, from the drugstore, I really like this one. I have a sample size from my favorite Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Under Eye Primer. I love this and this travel size was perfect for traveling. And I also have this Smashbox Photo Finish More Than Primer Blemish Control. I spoke about this on my Smashbox. A one brand review. I love their primers and the blemish control one is one of my favorite ones. I will repurchase it some point in the future. This one or any other Smashbox primer. But I have some primers that I would like to use up before. But this is a really nice one especially if you like the silicone primers. I have two Essence Brow Make Me Brow Sticks. I have the lighter and the darker one. These are very very good if you like the benefit give me brow because it's small but you don't want to pay that much so these are nice they nothing amazingly different and special but they work quite well and I got both of them so I can create more shadows on my eyebrows and I really really like them and I will repurchase them at some point for sure. This is the Smoky Last Makeup Forever Mascara in green. So that's shade number four. I love the color. This was a nice mascara at first, but it dried out quite quickly. A natural one. I don't think I will buy the black one. I don't know if I will repurchase that again. It's the intense color, volume, length and curl. And I have heard so many things about the actual Smoky Last, so I decided that I will tried the green one, it's a dark green, the color was nice but it was nothing like amazing and the mascara was nice but again nothing amazing and it's quite expensive so I don't think that I will buy this again but I will keep it in uh, for a future mascara video so that I can talk to you about it a bit more. And that's my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. I love this, it's my favorite setting spray. And I have a few others now that I'm using, but I think that I need to buy another full size of this because it's perfect and I absolutely love it. So I think that's all. These were all the things that has finished in the last few months and weeks. I hope you liked this video, if you enjoyed it please click the thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel for more videos to come, let me know what you believe about these products if you have tried them and uh, please keep in mind that I will not have videos for the next two weeks. I explained a bit the reasons in the previous video, I will have the link down below and I will be away out of Switzerland for three weeks in a row almost with a couple of days in between where I'm here. So it's very difficult for me to film and edit. Uh, but we will talk 
soonest in the next video I have not yet decided what the next video will be but we will see maybe it's another friends haul because I'm going to Paris I'm not sure about that but we will talk then and until then take care and many many kisses